I found a dream that I could speak to, a dream that I could call my own. I found a thrill. Jack Cooper knows music. For half a century, he has helped singers like Lisa Brokaw, Patricia Conroy, and Courtney Love reach their potential. He knew instantly, four years ago, that Mary Stinchcomb had a rare talent. You hear something in certain singers, you even see that when you watch this program like The Voice, but I heard something, and there was something beautiful and deep about her voice. Now, the thing about Mary, I always use this term, she's an old soul in a young body. She loves the old songs. My heart was wrapped up in clovers. The night I looked at you. Jack says Mary has the tools to go as far as she wants. At a convention in Red Deer, she wowed the crowd, showing that she has that it factor that is so rare. Well, Mary got up and she started with her at last. Right off the bat, you see the people start to turn and look. By the end of her set, there's about five or six songs, maybe seven, I don't know, they stood and applauded her. All 400, 500. That's the it factor. Most 14-year-olds like top 40 music, not Mary. She likes the oldies. She will sing in seniors' complexes and the maze of residence with songs from their youth. She also sings opera. They had a talent competition, and I ended up winning it with uh, an opera, and I had no clue what I was doing. So it was just like really interesting for me because I've never really done competitions. So it was like really amazing to know what it felt like to like experience one and then end up winning. So you see, I love you so much. Fellow music student Sarah Manzak says that Mary's voice and her knowledge of older music sets her apart from the pack. I like how she has like a variety of the older songs because I haven't heard like more of the 50s and 60s, which I really like, like a variety of stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. You smile, you smile. Well, and then the spell was cast. Jack and Mary are currently working on her first CD, a milestone for someone so young. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, Edmonton.